Hate to have a fist fight with Chad Brown. Looks like a tough guy. Actions on Nam. Whatever. And he's betting 300,000 oh. here. And Chad is just, look at that look. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He thought he had a good flop. Then he got check raised for 210,000. And now his opponents bet 300,000 on the turn. If you're sitting at that table, folks, your Jack 8 shrinks up right about now. Okay. Chad laying it down, and Vince, he just got outplayed there by Nam Lee. Yes, he did. Sometimes when that happens at a poker table, you can't get upset about the way you played the pot. You just have to salute your opponent for doing an outstanding job in the way he played that hand. That's why this guy is so tough. He's just tough to read. He's capable of making plays at pots. You know, you're just scared to play a pot with him, because if you lose it, you could be the first one out. Oh, you just got to love this game. Welcome back to the Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. We're here on the World Poker Tour. Six players still remaining tonight. And right now, the chip leader is Nam Lee. And so far tonight, this game is played looser than an old pair of underwear. Everybody's splashing around. Back down on the felt. Danny Smith with the hat. He's got eight deuce. He goes out on this one. David Williams with a pair of threes right behind him. Well, David trying to get in cheap with the two threes. He limps in. And now Chad Brown with a suited connector, 7 6 of hearts. Nice friendly call. Also going to call. Well, that's the kind of hand you want to see a flop with also. So he calls. Now, Ravi on the button has ace three of hearts. And he's in position. So two guys limp in in front of him. He's going to limp in also. And now Fabrice with jack six of spades and the small blind calling as well. This well, is great. Cost him a half a bet to make the call. He does so. And Nam Lee with king five says fine. So look at this, Mike. Five-way action right now. Like a home game here, Vince. Yeah, pass me the pastrami sandwich. <laughs> Spill a few drinks on the table. Here we go. Well, the flop is ace, eight, six. Action's on for Brees. He quickly checks with bottom pair and a flush draw. And Ravi hitting the top pair of aces there. Everyone's checking around. Here he goes, Mr. No Fear himself. No Fear himself. But Ravi's going to bet the two aces. Well, he's got the real hand. He comes out and bets 80,000. I'm all in. Fabrice goes all in because he's got pair of sixes and a four flush. Well, I like this play by Fabrice. He's got a pair and a flush draw. He's check raised all his chips. Going to put the pressure right on him now. And David quickly folding Chad as well. Back on Ravi. Now remember, Ravi has the two aces. Six eight. You want to know how much I got? But he's been check raised for another 350, 60,000 more. To see that. This could be the demise of our Frenchman, Fabrice. Oh, Vince, I like the check raise by Fabrice here. Had he let out and bet, he's liable to have been called all the way down by the guy that had top pair. Now he's putting so much pressure on him, perhaps he can get the guy with two aces to lay his hand down. Maybe I misread my hand. Oh. All right. Take it. Oh. Well, he, well, he shows right. the ace and lays his hand down. Yes, he does. Like so right, take so it. another bold, it's terrific it. play by Fabrice Soulier to take down eight, that six. pot. Let's play some power poker, guys. Eight, six. Five, seven, spade. Eight, six. Could be that. <laughs> Something like that. I, like I love the check raised by Fabrice that, right there. We'll find out. Two weeks ago at the L.A. Poker Classic, he was in second chip position at the end of day one. You can see why, making moves like that. As a poker player, I think my number one strength is my heart. Sometimes too much instead of enough brain. They call me crazy sometimes. You got some real like in LA, for example, I made a crazy move against James Woods. I was second chip leader with 50 players to go. He took a huge part from me. And I ended up being 46. That was very disappointing. At least I made somebody happy. I was not supposed to come here today for B101, but I tried to refocus and I said, I want to revenge and I want to come back and I want to show I can make it. And I made it, so I'm, I'm proud of it. Very creative guy. When he plays poker, that helps in this game. Got to have imagination to be one of the greats. All right, the action's going to be on Danny Smith here. Looks down to King Seven of Hearts, folds it. No, sing the Madonna when you were singing yesterday. Young gun David Williams with Queen Four Spades this time. It's a good album when you were like, Goes out. Now Chad Brown with ace three offsuit. You do it good. Well, he's reaching for chips. 
He looks like he's going to push a little bit. Yes, he is. Goes up to 40,000. But the problem is right behind him, Ravi, Ace Jack. And he quickly calls with it. Yes, he does. And our Frenchman Fabrice. Here comes Fabrice. With A6, goes out. Oh, Nam Lee flash. doesn't want any part of it, so we have two way action. That, that, that flash, Downtown Ravi. Chad Brown with Ace 3, up against Ravi with Ace Jack. What a nice lay down by Fabrice there. Just got rid of his Ace high quickly. Here comes a flop. Bingo. Bingo card. Flop is Ace, King 8. Uh oh, they both hit Aces there. Oh. Yeah, this could spell trouble for Chad Brown here. He's on the short stack at this table. He's flop top pair here. And he's first to act, and he's coming out with a bet of $45,000. And quickly, Ravi calls him. Well, it gives him a break, doesn't bump it there. Here we go with the turn. And the seven of clubs comes on the turn. If you're sitting in Chad's seat, you might think your aces are good, Vance. You didn't get re-raised before the flop. You didn't get raised on the flop. Uh-oh. Well, he's going to bet 100000 Play pot committed there. Well, Ravi says you're pot committed now. He goes up another 100000 Well, Ravi's put the same number of chips in, but a different color. The orange ones are 10000 each. He's doubled the bet here. There's over 660000 in the pot right now. Chad's only got 120000 left or so. So obviously he's going to be pot committed. But how about the table talk? You're probably pot committed now, and then he goes up another 100000 Usually when a guy acts strong, he's weak. This time, Robbie's pretty strong. Well, that's the problem playing ace with a bad kicker. If someone happens to have the ace with a big kicker like Ravi, you can go for all your money. Well, if you got me, Robbie, you got me all in. Oh, boy. Well, he's doing it. Uh, indeed, Robbie's got him, but it is not over. Chad can win the pot if a three comes up. A four pair is I chop, so. He'll get a split pot if an eight or a seven comes up. They both have aces up with a king kicker. Three. But right now, Chad Brown could be heading downtown. Well, he has imploded. He'd be heading downtown on the city bus, unfortunately, for him. Or get a split pot with a seven or eight. Seven, eight, or a three. Will he be the first victim at Bay 101? He needs a little luck. Well, the locals all buzzing here. They're pulling for Ravi. Here we go with the river card. And it's a jack. Oh, Ravi's go. the one that makes two pair, and Chad's the one that had to do it. So a good sport, Chad Brown, shaking hands with everybody. Pretty good week here. He's going to be taking home 200000 for his efforts this week. We are down to five players at the Bay 101. This is getting good. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more here on the World Poker Tour. My first World Poker Tour final table, I had a big chip lead and really thought I was going to win the event. I saw like the little celebration at the end with me and Mike Sexton and Shauna Hyatt and the beers and toasting. Here's to our champion, Daniel Negrano. I don't think you ever really get over a big second place finish like that. Today I actually was sitting in my room getting ready for this one. I was like, man, I wish I had won that one. Welcome back to the Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton. One of these guys is going to walk home with $1.2 million and a WPT title. Well, the antes are going up to 3,000. The blinds are going to be 12 and 24. Namley is still our chip leader with about 1.5 and almost non-existent. Danny Smith from Folsom, California, right around here, has a lot of fans out here. His wife, his brothers, his family. But I'll tell you, he's short stacked down to 411. Needs a nice turnaround, but action's going to be on Ravi first. Got king five of spades. Ravi goes out, and now our Frenchman Fabrice looking down at an ace nine this time. That seems like he's playing about every pot, but he generally has cards to play in, Vince. This hand, no exception. What is that now? 24? 24,000 to call. Wow. He's in late position with a pretty good hand, five handed poker game. He goes up to $56,000 with his ace nine. And now I'm Lee finally getting out of his way, and he's got to feel good about that. Danny Smith folding a queen, eight of clubs in the small blind. Now, he could have played that hand. David Williams now with jack seven decides in the big blind, I'm going to play. Well, he's just watching Fabrice play every pot. Says, you just can't run over my big blind. Funny, I didn't think you would fold. I'm going to give you a little gamble here. Two-way action, jack seven versus ace nine. 
Well, a great flop for Fabrice there. He's flopped top pair with top kicker. David is checked. Look at this. It's a little $30,000 bet. A tickler bet. And David Williams calling us. I'm very surprised at this. Well, he got no hand and nothing to draw might to. Might be trying to take this way later. Here we go with the turn. Oh, the jack comes off. Yeah, he hits his hand. Well, it's the only car David could take the lead with. <laughs> He's checked again. And Fabrice coming out and betting an additional 30000 And just a call by David. Well, Vince, Sneaky this play. Is a petite bet here. 30000 into a $200,000 pot. Ticky-tack pokey here. River card coming up. Well, a six comes up at the river. And now David's going to bet with his top pair. That's $80,000. It's payoff time. Well, that's going to be fishy for Fabrice. He's going to look him up. He is never going to put him on a jack seven here, I can tell you. And you can see the look in his face right now. He's saying, how did this guy call me on the flop? Flop was 9-5 deuce, and I bet. This is David Williams. We've seen this guy take advantage of situations, stick around to take the I'm pot later lucky. with a big bet if he doesn't hit. He see. honestly was just splashing around thinking, maybe I'll take you this pot later on down the line. Lo and behold, you hit your hand. Yeah, very good read. The last remaining shooting star here tonight. Got a bounty on his head. That means if you knock him out, you get an additional $5,000 cash. Hey, he loves the shooting star tournament, Vince. He took out some shooting stars of his own. He knocked out men, the master win, Carlos Mortensen and Alan Cunningham. He's already put 15000 in his pocket. Back down the table on Fabrice. He's got the jack five of clubs. He's under the gun. He's one of the short stacks here. He opts to lay it down. Nam going out, and now Danny Smith with queen eight in the button. Nope, not going to do it. David Williams with a pair of eights. 75. He's going to be the raiser. He's going to make it 75,000. Ravi, the only one to beat. He's got a suited connector, six, seven of hearts. I'm learning. Says he's learning, and he calls it. Well, it's the kind of cards that you want to see a flop with. If you get lucky and catch something, you might break somebody. Here comes the flop. Oh, we could see some fireworks here. David Williams has the over pair, the two eights. Ravi has flopped top pair and a straight draw. Yes, he has, but guess who's coming out? David betting 150,000. Call. And a quick call by Ravi. Well, you can't blame him for calling here. He's flopped top pair and a straight draw. He doesn't know David's got the over pair here. Here comes the turn card. Well, it is an inside straight draw, of course. Let's see if he can catch here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he did it. He's hit the straight. So that's going to be a dangerous card for David Williams. David quickly checks it. Wants to see if Robbie's for real. And look at this, $200,000 for real. David not liking the open-end straight that's on the board, but still he has the over pair and a possible straight draw himself. So he's going to make the call he's not for 200000 here. Yeah, boy. So a big pot right now, over 860,000 in this pot. Trouble everywhere, river card coming up. 10 of diamonds. And again, David with the over pair checks. And Ravi once again getting busy. Another $200,000 bet. Yeah. Now David's problem is there's over a million dollars in the pot. It cost him 200,000 to call. And yes, there is an open end straight on the board. And you might not think Ravi would bet unless he had it, but still, so much money out there. David's going to make the call. Well, I'll tell you something. He's not going to like it. As great as David is, I think it's a big misstep to make this call on the turn. You're talking about a very solid, tight player being Ravi, a local player that doesn't want to humiliate himself. And when you see those kind of cards come up, I think you got to lay the eights down. I mean, would you really think that an amateur would bet without the straight in that situation? No. I wouldn't think so. From the city by the city by the bay, from San Jose, don't go away. We're coming right back. Welcome back to the final table of San Jose's Bay 101 Shooting Star. I'm Courtney Friel, and here's how the stars have aligned so far in this fight for poker fame and fortune. Early on in San Jose, French poker star Fabrice Soulier talked his way into contention. I don't need to look at the camera. I know he's got the kinks. So Nam Lee kept his cool and his chip lead. David Williams, the last remaining bounty, stayed out of firing range. And it was a local hero who proved to a poker commentator that this game is a lot harder than it looks on TV. 
Now, five players remain in Northern California with their sights set on poker glory and drawing dead aim on a million dollar first place prize.